Okay, now another problem uh, biz uh, of business mathematics, application of differential calculus in business and economics part two. So a company finds that it can sell out, um, it can sell out uh, a certain product uh, that it produces at the rate of taka two units. It estimate the cost function of the product to be taka 1000 plus half into uh, Q divided by 50 whole square or Q units produced and sold. Number one, we have to find out the expression for the total profit if Q units are produced and sold. Number two, find the number of units produced that will maximize the profit. And number three, what is the amount of this maximum profit? Then what would be the profit if 600 units are produced? So now we are trying to find uh, these four problem uh, we are given the cost function um, the cost function cost function c equals to 1000 plus half q divided by 50 whole square So this can be written as 10, 1000 plus half Q square divided by 2500. That means one plus Q square by 5000. So this is the cost function. Now, this is equation number one. And price per unit and price per unit given two. Okay. Two. So we know revenue, revenue R equals to what? Price multiply quantity. Okay. Price multiply quantity equals to what? P Q. Since P is the price and Q is the quantity. So we get twice Q, right? It's twice Q because P equals to 2 given. Now, again, We know profit, profit P equals to what will be profit P equals to revenue minus cost. So we can write R means what? Twice Q minus this value what? 1000 plus Q squared divided by 5,000. So therefore, P equals to, we can write twice Q minus 1,000 minus Q squared divided by 5,000. So, So we can find the profit from this and this become the profit function. So this is the first number we are finding. So therefore the total profit is this. So this is the, which is the required, which is the required total profit. This is the answer of number one. Now, number two, we have to find out the number two. Number two is what was? Find the number of units produced that will maximize the profit. That means we have to maximize the profit. Okay. So,
part two, part two, second part. Therefore, profit, profit, profit P equals to what was twice Q minus one thousand minus U squared divided by five thousand. This is equation number one. We have to maximize the profit. Therefore, first derivative, first derivative will be what? DP, DQ, because Q is the independent variable here. Variable Q, this is why not DP, DX, okay? So DP, DQ equals to what? Just taking DD, DQ on both sides, okay? Minus Q squared divided by 5,000. So this equals to, what will be differentiating with respect to q what will be 2 1 q differentiation will be 1 minus 1000 differentiation will be 0 constant differentiation 0 and q square means what 2 into q to the power 2 minus 1 divided by 5000 okay because ddx of x equals to what was 1 and ddx of x to the power and what and into x to the power n minus 1. This is the formula. Okay. So, therefore, dp dq equals to 2 minus twice q q divided by what will be 2500. Okay. This is equation number for maximum maximum profit dp dq what will be dp dq zero okay therefore two minus q divided by 2500 equals to what will be zero therefore q equals two equals to q divided by 2500 Therefore, Q equals to what will be 5,000. Q equals to what will be 5,000. Quantity, 5,000. Again, differentiating, differentiating equation number two with respect to Q. Okay, taking DDQ on both sides, DDQ dp dq equals to it will be d d q 2 minus t u q divided by 2500 so therefore d square p dq square what will be 2 differentiation will be 0 minus q differentiation 1 25 this equals to minus 1 by 2500 so this equals to what will be this is obviously less than zero so which is negative okay which is negative so therefore 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 the profit the profit is maximum Okay, since negative, this is why maximum uh, for a positive, there will be minimum cost. So the profit is maximum at what? At the quantity 5,000. Okay, this is the equation number two. So these units required. So 5,000 units required to get the maximum profit now another part what is the amount of the maximum profit okay now part three part now part three the maximum profit maximum maximum profit maximum profit can be found from this given from equation one okay 
maximum profit p max will be at what at q equals to 5000 okay just putting q equals to 5000 in equation 1 minus 5000 whole square divided by 5000 so we get actually this will be 10000 uh, 10000 1000 minus only 5000 so there will be obviously 4000 4000 taka will be maximum profit so their required profit is this this is the third part now another part fourth part will be we have to find out uh, the what would be the profit if 6000 units are produced so part four if q equals to 6000 then quantity then profit from equation one okay from equation one this is the profit function so then then profit equals to what will be p equals to at 6000 twice q minus thousand minus q is divided by 5000 same equation just putting 6000 in replace of 5000 minus 6000 whole square divided by 5000 so 12000 minus 1000 divided by this divided by 6000 whole square divided by 5000 will be 7200 so we get 3800 so then profit will be then profit will be uh, 3800 so i hope everybody will enjoy this problem very easy problem and very important problem how to find the actually profit total profit and how to maximize the total profit okay and what's the amount of maximum profit and at last we have found the profit if 6000 units are produced so thanks to everybody bye for today